What's good, yo? We back on TTV. Gang, gang, gang. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. Welcome back to another episode of One Piece on RTTV. So we finally met up with Jim Bay, and Jim Bay explains how he is personally responsible for the things that are long. Did when he was on top side. Yep. So everything that Nami went through, she flashes back. She sees her mom dies. All the people in the village kind of going through the things they went through when Arlong was there. And it looks like she's finna turn up on Jim Bay. Looks like it. About to get smacked in the face and not feel it. And then uh, also we have King Neptune, Zoro, Usopp, and Brooke captured by Horty Jones. Hoardy. Mm-hmm. Hoardy trash. So let's see what happens on these next two episodes, man. Are you guys ready? Let's yes, get sir. it. Episode 539 and 540, One Piece. I don't know why we tapped me. Because you were supposed to you see me. You tapped me made me look up. <laughs> <laughs> Byron, that's what the episode is going to be about. Joe Byron. <laughs> I want to see the stuff she went through when traveling with Dragon, too. Yeah, we'll get that eventually, hopefully. Ooh, the pony glitter. Oh, she pony found glitter. it. Wow. That was easy. Fisher for you, hell. That's where they want the beef. Queen. Oh, so that's probably why they were talking about the queen because they're making people step on pictures of the queen with the nails. Mm-hmm. Oh, that shit never fails. So was the queen a human? Oh. Fill this up. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. They're teasing Savage. the shit out this guy, though. He's the littest one. I don't care, bro. Of, of his squad. Oh, they going crazy in Water Wheel Tongue. Nigga, I'm stepping on that shit. What the fuck? Ain't nobody going to know. That reminds me of Samurai Shampoo where they was trying to force the people to step on, I think, a cross or something like that. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Big that, stupid. Oh, yeah, and this Karubu still around, too, yo. Homie that, that got the mud fruit. There he is right there. Oh, shit. You're right. He's collecting all of them. Yeah, because he plans on selling them in Sabaldi. Yep. Nah, if he really wants to sell all of them, don't, he'll be the richest nigga ever. Bro, he got like nine mermaids. He easily, if he sells all of them, is a billion berries. He got mad money, bro. Oh, about to get the context. I like how composed she is right now, though. Mm. Oh, 
So maybe he had to let go of Arlong to join the Warlords? It had to be something like that, yeah. Maybe they ain't fuck with Arlong. He's too ruthless. Sometimes you're strong enough, but Jinbei was still up your ass. Like you keeping it real though. Yeah, he is. Even at a buck though. Dope, they had to redo the animation for that nigga, yo. Right. <laughs> this whole scene. She's grown. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I was thinking about that too because I'm thinking like, yo, she might not spaz on him because of this dude. Because yeah. at the end of the day, he wasn't there when any of that happened. And no. she's actually understanding the play of oh, Arlong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Arlong. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Bit him. Shots. Yeah. Oh, that's Sabodi. Sabodi Park. That's why he named the Arlong Park. <laughs> You're right. I wonder if we'll see Arlong again. That's why I'm like, he didn't die. He's got his yeah. ass really whooped. <laughs> Damn. And this probably was like what led White Bear to even protect this island. Exactly. Good yeah, old yep. White Bear saved us, yep. Wow. Me and Jinbei. Yeah. Me and Arlong. Oh. Oh, clean up the heat, man. That's probably why she got killed. Fisher Tiger. That's oh. the other person. Fisher Tiger was a dude who broke from um and fell down, right? Mm -hmm. Nah. No. Who's that's a different name? He's the one with okay. yeah. from the Sun Park. With Jinbei and Arlong. So what the, what the Sun Pirates stood for was actually pretty righteous. Yeah. Tiger? Is that how you think of Tiger's man? Nah, you don't. Street, street fighter? fighter, bro. Nope. Cigar. No, you're, you're, yeah, you're Tiger. Tiger. Well, you know, it's expected, man. It's expected. <laughs> it's expected. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yes. Años antes. 16 years ago? How many? 
maybe 15. Yeah, all these kids is all, all right, the whole straw has is youngins at this time. Hockey. Yeah, that's observation, observation hockey. hockey. Yeah. yeah. Damn, she was nasty then. What the? F I can see why Neptune chose her. Ooh. Bitch. Yo, smacked him, bro. <laughs> Open palm smacked him, bro. Goldfish mermaid. Goldfish mermaid. That's how you know it's rare. Nigga, look at her hand. Red. She slapped the shit out of this nigga. <laughs> he said, bitch, I'm broke. Oh, my God, oh, again. Wow. She's hitting him with a broken hand, too. Yeah. You see her face. She's in pain. Ow. Ow! Oh God, I can see why people respected her. Mm. She got empathy, but she still rules with an iron fist. So that's her angst. I feel like she, her problem was she was probably a queen for so long, didn't really realize what people were going through. Yeah. Deeper than rap. <laughs> they got everybody crying. What the fuck? What is wrong with her? Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, I wonder who bodied her. When she smacked the dude, her hand. Is that what you're talking about? How she died. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about just now. Oh, no. Mm. That's a bar. That's a bar. Don wow. DeMarco. Shit like oh, look at Jim Bay. He was on the Royal Guard. God straight. I, mean, God. I like my nigga Woke Evan, yo. I almost forgot about that. Come on, man. I can understand why they don't want to move because yeah, it's it's a scary cool. thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna move close to the people that want to kill me. Yeah, hey, beast. Let's see it. And she basically saying, "Yo, we really meet the worst of the worst of these niggas. Like, we gotta meet some of these good humans." Oh, there's Karaboshi. She was huge off the jump, bro. Mm. So uh, her observation hockey is what really she hears people's thoughts and you know what I'm saying without really wanting to. So that's why she really knows what's going on. Cause that's what this nigga got, right? Kobe. That's what, I'm trying to remember who else has that. Yeah, yeah it's Kobe. Jay, what you mean with just a fish, man? What up then? Fuck? The fuck you mean, nigga? Oh, he about to get jumped. <coughs> They're like, we all got something to say. Ah, oh, he a bear. Tiger! No, hey, Jimmy! Jim Bear! Saki tastes bad, nigga. <clears throat> Not my Saki, man. 30 years old. From the hood. 
And all I'll say, for how much I hate humans, the last thing I want is y'all to sign this petition. I rock with Arlong, though. I'm not gonna lie to you, yo. Okay. <laughs> so you, ain't, you don't want that smoke with me, bro. Stop playing. Wow. Set him down. He's like, Arlong, I will whoop your ass. He listened, though. Brother. They're not brother, brother, but they're no. brothers. It's like yeah. four brothers. Remember, like, they grew up in the, the orphanage. The orphanage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> about trash. Oh. What a great what? son. Oh, shit. <laughs> this good guy. Brother Ty. That nigga look hip, though. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga look cool, yo. <laughs> Like a Jamaican fish. I was man. just thinking that, yo. <laughs> I was thinking that the whole time, bro. What I rock? Huh? <laughs> what I rock? What I rock? <laughs> Shit got intense. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, wow. I feel it. I feel, it, that some I feel it though. Didn't he uh free Bo Hancock and shit? Yeah, this yeah, it's the exact same situation. Look at him. Yeah, there you go. Damn, he bro, he took that bit down. That must inspire Jimbe to be like, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, I'm off this. <laughs> he said, gotta go. Mm. That's bad funny. Oh yeah, you was talking about that shit about pirates. <laughs> it's not even a tat, it's an embroidery. Not an I'm like an embroidery. It's a brand. I said a brand. I said embroidery. This thing is an embroidery. That's hey, I put myself an afterwards, bro. <laughs> oh my god, that's painful. I love that flag too. That yeah, flag nah. is lit, the flag bro. and the logo is lit. I'm oh. That was one. That was two. Oh shit. Sun Pirates for Life Buster. Cause it's Sun Pirates for Life. We ain't. I rock with Tiger. I rock with um I like how the Queen and Tiger had opposite views and it hurt the Queen so much. Especially when they like, what did you see so bad? Like I was saying earlier in the episode. And the fact that his mere response is just humans is like this hate for humans goes deep into these fish men because of the, what the humans do to them. So I wonder uh, what the queen, if the queen either even got any further in trying to make peace between humans and pirates and who was the person that killed the queen. Yeah. Because obviously, like, um, if they killed her, she was definitely making some type of... Unpaid. Progress. Yeah, yeah, some progress and making those, amending those relationships. So uh, maybe it was Fisher Tiger. Mm -hmm. Maybe she got caught in a crossfire of a battle between humans and the... Uh, Sun Pirates. Um, I like Fisher Tiger, and I like his approach. On, I liked his approach on things, and I understand why he has a hate for the humans. His hate is legitimate, and I understand why people didn't want to sign that petition either. Because realistically, it's like you want to move me closer to the humans so I could potentially get bodied is what you're saying it's not even like segregation. We just don't like y'all. We could kill you guys and get away with it. So why would I want to be closer to them? Mm -hmm. And then expect to make peace with them when they ain't trying to hear peace. They know nothing about you. They just know, hey, you guys are expendable. We can kill you if we, if we want. So why be close to them? And that's the thing about Tiger, though. I feel like his... I don't think he has, like, a complete hate for all humans because at the end of the day, he freed humans. You feel me? Those mad people. Sabote, there was, like, a lot of humans that was captured. I mean, Bo Hancock and stuff like that. So I think his disdain is, like, more towards humans that just have like this 
this arrogance of being a human. You feel me? Like that's the people that he, he really had bad despises. Experience and he's just letting it. Like it's like PTSD. I feel like he's just mm-hmm. letting it overpower him, and it's like it's just a old age question of when um you base someone you base the one bad seed on one bad apple. They basically they're judging um yeah, one fishman of on. the people that they know like they don't know all the humans but they're judging them based off what their experiences are. Yeah, I, I forgot the exact now. I, I know you're talking about, but mm-hmm. just want to see his mm-hmm. main beef is with the celestial dragons. No, I, I think the main beef is definitely against the world. Yeah, government. Hundred percent, sure. the world government. That's what I'm saying. It's not even like a human thing. It's like those niggas specifically because mm-hmm. they created the you can Law. yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? They created the apartheid. Yeah. Like how how we part of the world alliance and we don't really have a real seat because our, our people are still being treated like like we're not equal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So what what why are we at this seat for? Yeah, that makes no sense. Just to put up a fucking a, a smoke screen of the reality and shit like that. Like they said early in the episode, it was like the people that established the power will create. Oh fuck! They said some ill shit. I forgot what the fuck it was. But basically, the niggas in power and stuff like that will basically create the segregation. Between the people that they actually create an alliance with, which is kind of weird and stuff like that. It's like, they'll make it seem like everything's all peachy and daisy and shit, but then the, the actual, like, separation and the hatred to, the, to those people actually increases. Kind of crazy. Yeah, it was like the people that usually seek out power are the ones that don't want things to change. Mm-hmm. I think that's a, something. Yeah, that was, they, yeah, that's yeah. a part of that, yep. I think they said some shit like that. It's like, although we have all these people changing the world, it's like, we made... We made all these um, agreements to have our people sit at the table, but most of the people that are at the table now still don't want things to change. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's interesting, yeah. yo. It'd be a tough. It'd be tough to change their mind too, because like uh, Orihime, uh what's her name? Orihime. Otehime. Otehime, yeah. Mm-hmm. She was like, um, yo, the only humans we ever meet here are pirates and the nobles. Yeah, we we see the piece of shit of piece of shit. So I get why y'all don't like them, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day. We got to get closer to them so eventually we can get way past that shit or we can kind of be one. But as the people that have only seen bad, it's like, so you just want me to go over there and get my ass beat more and more and more and more. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? I'm good. I just stay here at Fishman Island. I'm good. But so I feel like because the propaganda that the world government has put out in the world, um, the people who aren't even part of the world, world government hate those fishermen too just because of what the world government says. Just like... They have a hate for pirates, and they think all pirates are bad. Mm-hmm. And it's Definitely. funny because yeah. it's the pirates that are wreaking havoc in Fishman Island, and the pirates are supposed to represent. Or in, in the case of Luffy and like what we see with Gold Roger, like some kind of some type of freedom. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So like, it's funny how like those same pirates who are deflecting from the laws on on the surface are like kind of still abiding by them when they go to Fishman Island and treat these people. Differently, you know what I'm saying? I get you saying, but at the same time, I guess you saying because even when they like they're violating them, they're still they're like discriminating again against them at the same time. And that's the stuff they yeah, learned up you. there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what they, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is because that's what they learn. Even yeah. as pirates, it's like regardless of what, whether you're a pirate, whether you're in the navy, the fishermen, nah, they're not one of us. Exactly. At all. Mm-hmm. Like. Mm. And then it's funny because uh, fishermen. I remember in Arlong Park. Um, Arlong was saying that how fishermen are like X amount of stronger than yeah, humans. superior um, yeah, species. Yeah. Exactly in terms of strength. Mm. Whereas like you could tell that the fishermen people are pretty peaceful because they could have been brought it to the humans a minute if ago. they wanted to. But it would have been outnumbered. I think that's why they never done it too. Though. Yeah, but like that, they could at least defend Fishman Island a little better. No, mm. but, I don't know. at least that's how I, how I gauge it. Shit, niggas getting violated in their own island. So shit, they ain't strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see what happens, man. And uh, I'm liking uh, Fisher Tiger. That's the homie. Yo. Did yeah, they I say he's him. dead, right? They say he's dead? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's why we haven't seen him. But I like um, their dynamic too. Fisher Tiger, uh, Jimbe, and uh, Arlong. Arlong, yeah, it's fire. <laughs> like, now they had to get back together. Like, oh, so you back with the pirates, huh? He's like, nah, you right, yo. With that nigga Fisher Tiger, that shit was fire, son. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even fuck with these niggas no more. Mm-hmm. I had to come pull up with y'all. But it's different. I feel like, the, like you're right. Because it's a different dynamic, though. Because like... Arlong sided with Fish Tiger, like, because it's like, yeah, fuck humans. But with Jim Bay is different. I feel like he sees exactly what Fish is that Fish Fish Tiger ain't just a fuck human type of nigga. And Jim Bay really sees that. It's more about freedom and equality that he sees of what Fisher Tiger is doing rather than Arlong's, like, fucking, uh, what do you call it, infatuation 
with or, the hatred of humans. Or even what he's seen with the queen. Queen's putting out this petition. Nobody mm-hmm. wants to sign it. Shit like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People are barely signing it, but it's, it, it isn't making much of a change. Like, people exactly. are still um, capturing fishmen. They're still enslaving them. It's like what Tiger did actually showed results. Yeah. I'm, I need to join that if I want to make a change. Exactly. So, a real revolution. Exactly. Hmm. Some yeah. deep, some deep themes here in One Piece, man. If it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button, man. If it's your, um, yeah, it's your boy Wells. You're <laughs> <laughs> it, about to it, run it. back the same shit. It's a man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins at the scar T. That's a god T. It's your tire. It's your boy DC. It's your boy Rob said T. And that settles it at the, the round, round table. table.